Okay, so how does that look? All right. So remember, what we've been doing before is just the regular exponents. Okay. So a, a flashback. What we've been doing is just regular exponents, like um, 6x to the 4th times, let's say, negative 7x to the 5th, right? So now I could do the long way, and I could break it up, right? I could go 6 times x times x times x times x, right? And then times negative 7 times x, five of them, two, three, four, five, all right? I could do that. Now, see the numbers, the coefficients? I'm going to go ahead and multiply. So let's see. So Anna, when I multiply 6 times negative 7, what do I get? What's positive 6 times negative 7? Anna. And it's going to be negative, right? Because positive times negative is negative. Negative 42. Okay. And Candace, how many x's am I multiplying all across? How many x's are there? Candace. Candace. No? Okay, uh, how about Emerson? Emerson, how many X's are there that I'm multiplying together? On, on each side, six and seven. No, how many X's? Am I multiplying? Four, six, and on seven, that's five. So all together, how many are there? Um, they're like eight. They're like eight? No, you missed a, a, a number. 9. So am I going to write x9 or x to the power of 9? x to the power of 9. x to the power of 9. Okay. So there's your answer. Okay, x to the power of 9. Now, what we're going to do today. Yes, sir. Yeah. What are we working with? Because I was here last week. So this is basically like. Exponents. Oh, exponents? Yeah, this was on the district benchmark. These were the first three problems. So we're trying to do the different type of exponents, okay? So now, today we're doing, um, if I have 6x to the 4th, now I'm going to put that in parentheses, and I'm going to raise, like if you're playing cars, I'll raise you, let's say, 3. So there you have a power to a power. Okay, so technically, when you have the parentheses and you're raising it, what you got to do is you got to go ahead and write this here three times. 6x to the 4 times 6x to the 4 times 6x to the 4. See that? Because you're raising 6x to the 4 to the power of 3. Okay, so now you do everything you've been doing last week, right? If you want to break it up, that's cool. Let's break it up. You know, this is 6 times x four times times. This is 6 times x four times. And this is 6 times x more times. See that? Mister, do I have to do that? No, you don't have to, but it's visually for those kids who need to see it, right? So let's see. So Ethan, Ethan Rodriguez, what do we do with, ooh, sorry, bad number, huh? What's six times six times six? Now, I don't know that, but I know six times six is 36, so I'm going to use my calculator, okay? So hold on. Let me use my calculator. Uh, huh? 216. 216, yes, and you use your calculator. 6 times, oops, 
6 times 6 times 6 is 216, right? So I'm going to write 216. Now, now I'm multiplying all these x's. So how many x's am I multiplying? Uh, let's see. Uh, Vivian Guerrero. How many x's am I multiplying all the way across? Vivian Guerrero. Type it in if you have the answer. How many? Vivian Guerrero? No? Okay. Tristan? How many X's? Um, how many X's? Yeah, how many X's am I multiplying together? Yeah, right? 12. See? So look, 4 plus 4 plus 4, that's 12. I don't have to write x times x, all right? Just add the exponents. Once you break it down, once you do this step, now add them. 4, 8, 12, so x to the 12. See that? Are you guys cool with that? See? All right, so let's do another one. Okay, let's do um, uh, 5. A to the second raised to the uh, the second. Okay, so that's a power to a power. That's all we're doing today. So then, what do we do? We we're gonna write what's in parentheses twice. So five a to the second times five a to the second. So now we set it up the way we had it last week. Right, so Tadeo, what do I do with the fives? Tadeo? Tadeo? No? Yeah, he didn't respond earlier. Ruben, how about Ruben? What do we do with the fives here? Right, so 5 times 5 is 25. And then A2 times A2, uh, let's see, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, what's A2 times A2? How many A's are there? Four. So A to the power of 4. See, and that's it. That's, that's all we're doing. Now, here's, so the next step is this. Watch this. If I have negative 2 x4 times, I think, to the power of 3, and then I'm going to multiply, let's try this, times 5x to the third. Okay? So again, you have one of them is power to a power, right? So then we just got to do this work. So negative 2, x to the 4, 3 times, right? Because here's your power to the power. And then we bring this down, okay? 5x to the 3rd. So times 5x to the 3rd. So now you have a lot of numbers, right? So you could go ahead and do this. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. All right, so then this is negative 40. Okay, so you have to do the numbers on the side. What about x's? Uh, let's see. Uh, Candice, are you back? Candice, how many x's are there all together that we're multiplying? Candice, no? How about Anthony? Anthony Garcia? Anthony Garcia? Anthony? Oh, there you are, Candice. So how many X's am I multiplying together? I got 4 here. I got X to the 4th, X to the 4th, and X to the 3rd. How many are we multiplying all together? So... What do you do? Huh? 
4, 12, 13, 14. All right, take away 1. Yeah, so x to the power of 15. Very good. x to the power of 15. Okay, and that's it. That's all we're doing. So remember, focus on the power to a power. That's it. Okay, focus on the power and then do everything we've learned. And that's all you have to do. Okay, so that's yeah, so that's it for the notes. Okay, pretty simple notes today. Let me go ahead and I know it's a Monday. You guys are tired. Some of you guys are not even responding. <laughs> you guys are asleep probably. 